you doing, folks? Welcome to another walk with Harvey, and he's actually here this week. So uh, we're down in uh, Ross Trevor, Kilbrony Forest Park, trying to tick off a few more of these ones in the Western Mourns. So uh, aiming for Sleeve Bane, Sleeve Dermot, and then Sleeve Meal, hopefully. So uh, I think uh, Bats Estate sort of comes up around there. So that's the bit that doesn't allow dogs. So I think we're fairly, fairly safe. I think as far down as Yellow Water Picnic Park is, 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 is where the border of their, their land is anyway. I think, but uh, yeah, so we should be grand. Um, yeah, I had uh, COVID last week, so it's finally caught up with me. I haven't had it for the last two and a half years or however long uh, this pandemic's been going on. Finally caught up with me. If you have seen probably last week's video, I don't know what order these are going up in at the minute, but when I was down in Oma, uh, yeah, I was feeling a bit achy the next day. I thought, oh, I, I overdid it there. I was still walking during the day and then went up a mountain in the evening. I thought, oh, yeah, I've done too much. But then uh, getting the headaches as well, I thought, oh, this might be more than just the usual aches and pains. And it turned out it was. So uh, I was out of action for a week. But yeah, so this is my first time back up in the hills since, since then. So uh, good to be back out. So uh, yeah, better get, get it organized and, and get on the way, speak to the bit. Now, at the start of this walk, I'm doing my usual path that I do when I come down to Kilbrony, up the zigzags that lead you up to the top of Sleeve Martin. But from looking at the map, I think we only go one zig, or maybe two zags, before we get to the first turn off we're looking for, I think, from what I can work out from the map. So we'll go that way anyway and see how we get on. Yeah, so here's the turn off. We'd go that way if we're going up to Sleeve Martin. But I think it's this way. Now, uh, I could be wrong, but it's a path I've not done before anyway, so it's, it's worth exploring and seeing where it takes us. Quite a few fallen trees on this path, so I don't think it's as well maintained as the other one. But uh, we'll keep going for a bit anyway. <clears throat> Come on, Harry. I think that's the first one we're aiming for over there. And I'm just looking over the other hillside there. There's a, a very clearly defined path going up that one. But uh, <clears throat> hopefully this one meets up with it. I'm gonna. I'm going to keep going anyway because I'll be, I'm interested to see where this path goes. <laughs> Actually, you know what, I might try for that other path. This isn't looking great. I reversed through these ones to push my pack through to stop me getting jagged by the, <laughs> the branches. But yeah, that's not looking ideal. No, let's go the other way. Right, here's a path. So after we've gone up one zig from the top car park at Kilbrony, you come back up here. That one sends you up, but completely overgrown. So we're gonna go down to go back up again now. this before this is the start of one of the mountain bike trails orange is this trail for you probably not trail grade orange extreme suitable for riders aspiring to an elite level of technical ability yep not for me that one now how do I get to this path Harvey hmm 
Now there is these wee paths here. Um, I'm wearing short trousers today, which may have been a, might not have been the best choice. But uh, I'm just going to go down a bit and see if we can find a proper path. No, that path just seemed to keep going down. I'm going to start going up at some point, so uh, let's try here and see how we get on. I've got my pole today as well, which is an idea. Made it onto the path. It was only a little bit of overgrown bit, so uh, hopefully this will get us a good bit up. Right, we found a, a bit of a fork in the road, but that does look a bit overgrown. And we're still going up on this one, so we'll keep going this way, I think. Ah, bit of a view, Harvey. Yeah. Onwards and upwards. Now, as I record this, Southern Ireland and the UK are in a heat wave. We've only got a bit of a heat wave up in Northern Ireland and a, a bit of rain forecast as well. So just in case it did get quite warm later on, we headed out early enough so it, it wasn't too hot for Harvey. So uh, yeah, it's, so far it's warm, but it's not uh, so warm that Harvey would be affected. So uh, plenty of water anyway, so it should be grand. Now, I have a feeling this might be the first summit. Um, there's no cairn marking it or anything like that. It's a slightly higher bit up there. So, uh, yeah, that's a rock. I think, I think it is. I remember looking down at this point when I, last time I was up on sleep mat and I was able to sort it. I think this was the first one. So uh, yeah, we'll do the do the five ball challenge anyway. Just in case. Now, there's a couple of paths crisscrossing here. This one seems to be descending. Hmm, maybe. Yeah. I'm going to drill five balls here anyway, and then follow one of these paths. Yeah, pretty sure that sleep vein I'm just struggling on top of. This path here, when I was looking at the map there, I think that brings us back round towards Sleep Martin, so I don't think we want to be going right. And it looks like it, it follows the contours when you go left anyway and brings us up to Sleep Dermot. And then Cranville, if you saw my video from Cranville, Cranville's behind that wood there somewhere. So I think we're going right, Harvey. I mean, left. This one straight ahead of us has the look of a sleeve dermot to me. Well, 
Well, wasn't expecting a boardwalk up this this high up. Hopefully we're not on a mountain bike trail, are we? There's no signs anyway. Sand in here. Still think we're on the right path anyway. Sleeve meal is just there. These ones on this side of the moors aren't the easiest ones to, to navigate to. Unless you're on a mountain bike. Hopefully there's somewhere to cross this fence. Don't fancy lifting Harvey over. Now this is getting quite frustrating. Yeah, you don't mind mountain bikes being up here, but uh, at least give walkers some way of, of getting up. I'll try along the path a bit more, but um, yeah, this is a bit annoying. Yeah, I've tried finding another way in, but I think this is the only way into that side of the hill. Maybe I'll get in and just avoid the path. Very frustrating. Right, at least I'll be able to get in the field. I'll try and avoid the uh, mountain bike path. That's lacking more over the way there. Sleeve bruisedly. I'll put a link up to those. I'm hoping that there is some sort of path along here at some point taking me to the summit. Otherwise we'll, we'll just have to go cross country, Harvey. Hopefully it'll be a bit clearer from the top whether there is an actual path for walkers to get up here. If it is just a mountain bike path a bit frustrating. I don't mind mountain bikes being on these trails and stuff but if, 
if the trails are at the expense of walkers and there's no way of walkers getting up to the top of some of the, the peaks that's not right well, there's another path joining this one but I'm still suspecting these are just mountain bike paths rather than footpaths right it looks to me like people have trod up this way before so I'm heading for the summit and at least we're off the mountain bike path Yeah, I think this is probably the top of sleeve meal. That's uh, not an easy peak, not an easy summit to get to. Doesn't appear to be a clear path that I should have been. That's you know, somewhere from Ross Trevor Forest down there. But yeah. Anyway, don't imagine I'll be back up here anytime soon, so let's uh, get the pipe get have you a drink right Harvey's had a drink so he's a bit happier I know I just got on a sandwich and then better start making our way off this mountain so uh, I think I'm gonna head this general direction and uh, try and end up back on Sleeve Mine, which is just where the, uh, the masses are over there. So I'm trying to avoid Cranville, so I think I might have to go around to the left hand side of the forest there. Contemplating putting the drone up there, but it's a bit too windy. And I uh, don't want to annoy Harvey. I'm sure he's finding this one a bit challenging with the long grass. I wasn't expecting it to be this difficult underfoot. Nearly as bad as Cranville. Maybe even worse because of the. Uh, You've got a further distance to, to cover to get to the summit. Ended up carrying Harvey for a good portion of that. Yeah, this isn't a this isn't a great route. I've got to get over this other side of these trees here. But I'm wondering whether to follow this fence all the way up to the end of the tree line or try and get through them. I'll follow the fence for a bit. Right? And there's a gap in the fence here but um, it might be best going to the end of the tree line. Finally see the end of the tree line. Whew. Not quite at the end of the tree line. <sighs> Keep following the fence, we'll get there eventually. Ah, oh, this has to be the end of the tree line. <laughs> yeah, this is a bit of an ordeal. last the end of the tree line let's hope the path on the other side is a bit more straightforward Harvey is that better? a bit cooler now Harvey? right 
just a fence to navigate and then we're finally on the right side of the of the forest. Right Harvey, here we go. Double fence was a bit tricky to get over. Oh, we're over, that's the main thing. We're heading the right direction at last. <laughs> Looks a bit easier now, huh? Looks a bit boggy here, Harvey. You might be getting our feet wet. You might be alright. For one day I didn't bring my pole. Even now and that I've done it's a bit of a plateau so there's no point going all the way over there because it's all the same height anyway so yeah if that is a peak it's done <laughs> Back on the zigzags, not long to go now. of the van uh, nine miles five hours 55 I think that was uh, yeah way longer than I expected having to go up around those trees those those few summits are difficult to, to get to especially when you're not on a mountain bike so uh, yeah I must have a look and maybe ask some of the Mourn Rangers on the Facebook page about uh, the best way to navigate to them because it, it really wasn't clear and I can't see any way that you wouldn't end up on a on a mountain bike path. Anyway, got them got some of them done anyway. So uh, yeah, time to get Harvey uh, back home, get another drink. So uh, uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, I do regular walking videos. So if you haven't done already, give a wee thumbs up, subscribe, and hopefully we'll catch on another one. See ya. Bye.